Kaona in Punjabi means to feast now, and Kaona in Visayan, which is a dialect in the Philippines, means to eat now. So that is just an example of how our worker co-op fuses both of our cultures together. One thing that we do is take these traditional meals and make them a little bit healthier without losing the history or the fun or the um, kind of attachment that someone might have with a dish. And we do that because when you go throughout the United States or and even throughout the world, our communities, the Filipino and Indian communities, often live right next to each other. Um, and in history, our communities have had a lot of um, interaction. And so we're bringing that story and, and those flavors together side by side because they also taste really good together. You know, I think more and more under like the leadership that we're in in the United States and even across the world, we're seeing just like a heightened sense of repression against people who who are working, who are um, going out there, uh, sacrificing their health and their trying to make a living um, in order to feed their families and then ultimately feed the nation. And so for us, being able to bring a whole new alternative of what economy can look like through worker cooperatives is really important because we see that the people who are making the decisions on where the profits go, who we cater to, for example, are they aligned with our mission and values are all really important and we will always put people and our community before profits. We're having this conference talking about economy, talking about where money is going, where the government allocates money, and knowing that almost $200 million every year is spent on a different nation's military and police that has, in the past two years, killed 27,000 Filipinos. That is part of our conversation. There are so many other places that this money can go, and worker cooperatives is one of those. Creating solidarity economics is one of those. Education is one of those. Healthcare is another one. And so when we go to talk to our representatives who are supposed to be representing us, we are going as grassroots organizers, we are going as worker owners, we are going as people who are looking at the global effects of imperialism and of capitalism and we know that just between the two of us doing this thing, that's not enough. So how many people can we reach? How many people can we convince and influence that these things are all connected and that we are stronger together? That is where um, our worker cooperative can go and is going. We're not just trying to be another catering cooperative. We're trying to be part of a larger movement.